What kind of real-time data processing problems are you facing at PayPal? So at PayPal, one of the things that we've been tasked with the most is dealing with real-time. And uh, real-time from a data analytics perspective is unique in that it happens right now. I know that, that sounds like we're overstating the obvious, but uh, all kinds of things happen when you look at right now. You have a massively parallel problem for getting data into the system of any kind at one time. You can't rely on having access to the entire data set at once anymore uh, because the data set is just too large uh, when you're trying to deal with, with petabytes and gigabytes in, in a single second. Um, and even time itself becomes something that, that's uh, questionable because uh, whose version of time do you, do you take into account? You're getting information from all over the place um, and everybody has their notion of what time it was when something happened and you have your own version of time as you're, you're trying to analyze it. Um, and so to us it sounded like an awful lot of noise. Um, and so as we, uh, as we started thinking about noise, uh, it led us naturally to, uh, to signal processing. And then we, we thought and said, you know, there's, there's hardware out there that does this signal processing stuff. Uh, and it does it on real time, and it's it's ubiquitous. It's it's everywhere from from in our phones to uh, to to on stage and, and in our movies. And and maybe there's something there we can look at. Um, and that's when we discovered uh, uh, the K2H platform from from TI. Um, and that's what we decided to to uh, to take forward uh, to develop a set of applications that allowed us to find uh, real signal um, in in this massively parallel uh, data problem that we had. How is PayPal using TI's Keystone 2 technology to solve real-time data processing problem? So one of the things that we, uh, we did first was once we thought that, that uh, DSPs would, would actually uh, be relevant to the problem, we came up on how do we get data into a format that, that uh, DSPs actually understand. Um, and so we spent an, a lot of time uh, working uh, with the, the ProLiant M800 platform because it gave us sort of the best of, of, of two worlds. Uh, a, a Linux world um, that we were familiar with um, on, on a, a low power platform which we, we, had, we had spent some time with on the ARM side. Um, but it also gave us access to uh, a collection of DSPs that allow us to, to prove some of these theories out. And we didn't have to do it um, all at once. Uh, we, we leveraged uh, TI's multi-core navigator to help us with memory management, um, especially as we moved um, between between the uh, the ARM uh, and the DSPs. Um, and we also uh, liked the fact that, that uh, they believed out of the gate in ubiquity of, of, of programming as well. Um, and so we leveraged their OpenCL base, um, which would allow us to develop on the platforms that we were used to, uh, Linux and Mac for the most part. Um, and we were able to take that code uh, immediately and run it on the K2H platform um, without any modifications and just uh, leveraging different parts of multi-core navigator to be able to put, put things in the right place.